Oh, hi there. Sorry it's been away for such a long time. Um, we have been exceptionally busy. Um, this is a bit of a shop update, to be fair. Um, got myself a little mill, got myself a little Atlas lathe. Um, oh, I don't want that flickering, so there we go. Um, but um, I finally got this. It's a little bit uh, Heath Robinson at the moment, but I finally got this beast up and running. Um, so I just want to show a few holes. This is the, I've done one test cut, which is a little bit ropey to be fair. So there's lots of tweaking and sorting to do, but uh, let's uh, give it a run. I mean, that has obviously got to be um, made better. I need to sort myself out a copper braided strap for there or, or, or design something that I can just run it on. Not the end of the world, we can sort that out. Um, got the floating head all working here. So, uh, yeah, it's a bit heavy to be fair. I could do with springs on it. It's all a bit, uh, like I say, it all needs sorted out. 3D printed um, torch holder. Got the little torch um, hooked out there to stop stuff from falling apart. Need to sort out all the wires. Uh, done the box, um, control box, all that's working fine. And it's all tidy in there to be fair. Just got to sort out all the earthing. Um, so, uh, it should just cut a whole series of holes. Um, the representation on um, uh, Mac 3 for the drawing for rotary is just dire, it doesn't work at all. Uh, but anyway, we are set up and ready to go. I just need to zero the A axis in a minute. So there we go, zero that, otherwise it will start all in the wrong place and make me cry. So let's hit the uh, the go button and see what happens um, I've got the plasma turned right down to 25 amps um, in fact I might just slow the whole thing down a little bit just take the feed rate down a little bit um, oh that won't make much difference uh, let's do that I've got to... yeah we'll give that a go because uh, the feed rates pretty high here but it it's all relative so Let's give it a go and see what happens. Here we go then. So we've got to get the clearance sorted out, got to get the speeds of travel sorted out. You'll see the light will come on. There's a bit of shuddering, the holes aren't round. Um, lots of things need sorting out. On the whole it's not too bad, pardon the pun. Just needs a little bit of tweaking, I think. There's nothing to uh, doesn't really give a hard time. So you see, as soon as it's cold, um, need to sort out the sensor accuracy, a few other bits and pieces, but I don't know why that hole is so offset, it shouldn't be, but we'll check the drawing in a minute and make sure. So there we go. Uh, you see that all the holes line up through there. Oh, that's quite good. Um, there's a whole bunch of offsetting, offsettedness. I want a better expression. Um, pull that over there if we can. There we go. So we can have a look, see the holes aren't round. Uh, this is just all set up really. Um, slightly off center. Uh, it's, I'm new to this rotary business so. Um, it does look as though it's drifting, uh, I don't know whether you can see, but it looks as though it's drifting off a bit. It could be that it's climbing in the in the 3D printed, which of course is now taking the muller in, um, cut. But we'll, we'll change those to something a little more, shall we say, friendly. We'll put steel ones on there eventually. It's only just to test it. But, you know, it's a start. So, just got to get this all um, tuned in, 
I mean, that hole there is pretty acceptable, as is that one, as is that one. Um, I don't know whether that was the first holes that cut. Uh, I'll run my uh, vernier on it and just see. I'm curious to know why that one is so far out. I mean, I can understand a little bit of creep, um, but that one's such a long way out. Uh, let's just stick this down on my mess bench. Um, just check the drawing, see if it, see if it is all lined up. Ah, oh, no, there we go. Look. So that one isn't in the right place. So that explains that. So you can see it's a pretty basic layout. Uh, all good, really. So there you go. Thought I'd show you. Um, it's not. It's nowhere near from finished. It's nowhere near sort of. Uh, um, accurate enough really for us to do any sort of production work uh, but it does work and I will keep you updated as we progress a little bit further uh, we have got a few other things that has happened recently uh, as far as um, equipment I don't know whether you can see but this used to be where the powder coating oven was uh, we've got a started a new powder coating company um, and yeah it's going great we just need to uh, keep on top of it Anyway, uh, I will come back to you when I've done a little bit more to this. Uh, everything seems to be working fine. Anybody got any questions, give us a call. And obviously, if you like the video, then uh, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down and tell us why. Um, and if you want to see a little bit more of this, I'll try to be a little bit more regular in the future, uh, then please subscribe. Uh, it all helps me just carry on doing this stuff. But uh, anyway, for now, stay safe and I will see you soon. Cheers.